Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about how to create login page or login form using MySQL database with ASP.NET. So right here first two, you need to install these two packages. So add here MySQL character named add here MySQL for Visual Studio. So you create this from uh, Oracle site. So install this package. Now here after after installing, you need to go at this location and here copy and paste there. After that, you get to this MySQL data DDL. You need to copy and here paste inside. So, add here you need to paste inside reference. Okay, paste. Or you can just click add and here what you need to do so click on the browse and here this is the MySQL DD you need to add so this that I think already added MySQL data so after adding this you need to add here this is the designer of login page so add here I've taken you just to take one form at this place there is the one row only here you write login form here you write username password this is at here or uh, text box one if you want to check the output oh sorry properties so this is at here text box and here after this is text form so text mode at here single mode and here this is the text box now if I scroll down, so since uh, add here this is the name text box too. Now add here this is for password. So password text mode should be I scroll down here single line. You need to change password. After that, you need to use required field validator. Please change the name. Error message. Please enter your name. And here, second require field validator. This is please enter your password. So, after selecting this, you need to use add your control to validate. So, add here this control selected. This is one. This is validating text box one. This is validating text box two. After that, here this is the button I have taken. Name that change with login. And there is no any changes. Now here label or text property blank and here no any changes anything. Now here this is sign up. So sign up there I have taken hyperlink and here text sign up and here I connected with the waveform 2. So waveform 2 by using this it will or trans or it will navigate to waveform 2 there I have used registration form now here after the next thing is this is at here this is the all code waveform and here at this place you need to add this to or namespace data mysql client and here data and here Let's make uh, bigger. You need to write this all those things. So this is at your server name, local host, user, root, data with the killer, password, 1234. MySQL character and your MySQL command. So this is the query. Tap one is the table. So add your retrieve data. So this is at your. So at here I'm using first name, password, this all. So I do only I have choose or uh, two or uh, column first name and password. So first name included first name and your password included password gone. Now here after adding the value of uh, first name on text box one. So this is add your text box one and your text box two that will go to the password. Now here so this is all those things that happen when user click on the button. Now here MySQL data access that will and here so if the rows get them zero that would comes to this place and here 
then go to waveform file and here portable things in the waveform file so that will all display so in waveform file so i am going to show some things so and here this is go to designer so there is so one logging successfully masses that display when or that control to comes to this point if the condition is not true so add your username and password wrong and they have changed the code with the date so it's so executing waveform for at this place now here if i didn't uh, enter anything login so add here it's asking about to uh, enter username the password so if i give uh, sam so this error message that gone suppose if i enter wrong password so add here username and password is incorrect so uh, how do we check the correct username so right click here retrieve data so this is and here this all username like or uh, i don't know any password chris has the password 1234 so if i select to add this place to all chris which are i as now here one two three four so if i click on sign in login successful if i back now here if i click on the sign in so here you can create a new user okay whatever matthew and here death let's give the password for the day for the one and here accept submit if everything okay now here just to close and here you need to do one thing here refresh now here so so here you can see matthew did it's come there okay so add here this is for new user if you uh, old user and if you want to check click to sign up so or uh, that's for new user so you want to add here or uh, sign up page this that i already discussed in my previous video you can check how to create registration form using mysql okay so one more thing this is the code so this is text box text box to button here hyperlink label required field vector required field vector and here this is the code so if you have any doubt related to this leave your comment definitely i will reply so thanks for watching see you next week thank you